I sent around something about adding timers to a PowerPoint the other day. This is how you'd add them. You'll remember if I just click on the PowerPoint icon down the bottom it hides PowerPoint but if I hold the shift key down it opens up a new instance of PowerPoint and now I'll just open the um, presentation with the timer options in it. So all you need to do is to find the option you want and copy it and add it to the slide. So this one here instead of clicking like that click and drag over That'll select all the elements of that timer. Control C to copy. Go to your other PowerPoint and just paste it and you're done. I'll do another one. One of these sliders. Drag over the whole thing. Now don't worry about this business here because that is in the master and won't be copied. And just while I'm talking about that You'll note that on the front page of what I sent around in the terms of use, they're free to use for education. You don't need to attribute the source. So we can just use them. So click and drag over the whole thing. Copy all of that. Go to our presentation and paste it. And while they're all selected, I can use the arrows on the keyboard to move them or I can just grab it. Now if I don't like the yellow or if I don't like this color here I can right click and format that shape. At the moment the fill is a gradient fill and the colors are there. So if I don't like that fill I just clicked at the start and I could say let's make that a bit of a bluish color and let's slide that across to go to a darker blue and now it's going to, to look like that if I'm not happy with the word end I could highlight the word end and I don't know finish now I'm just going to drop this right down to the bottom of the presentation as well because now when I view it as a slideshow you'll see here it is appearing at the bottom so when I click on this that's a countdown and it started when I click on this one you'll see that it's starting to come in with the blue here you can see that they're already coming in so very easy to use these counters just copy them and paste them. The only place you'll go wrong is if you select it like that and copy it. Now all I, all I will have done then is copy the word end. So you simply need to make sure nothing's selected. I don't want to click and drag over the, the sand timer when my cursor looks like this because that'll move. That's indicating that it's selected something. So when it looks like this, nothing's selected click and drag and you can see just how many elements there are making this up so that's how you select any of these slides